Criticade! Hello, and welcome to the first inaugural episode of Criticade! Criticade! On Criticade, our mission goal is to, Jacob, play games we hate. Or play games we like. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, we're going to try and focus. It's all about giggles. Right? It's it's all about having fun. It's all, all about, about you. Good. Uh, it, it is. It's all about you, Pearl, on your 16th birthday. Uh, <laughs> That's right. We quote SpongeBob on this channel. I'm 19. <laughs> <laughs> I'm yeah, always staring at my screen like a little millennial. I, I mean, grew up with Sonic Adventure 2, and I talk about it fondly, even though it's a shit game. No. <laughs> I'm a fucking stupid millennial <laughs> piece of shit. Jeez, Olivia, when did you get here? I really like how the, the government... <laughs> I really like how the government in Sonic is just called Gun. <laughs> Are we going to do that? Yeah. No, we can't do that. We can't. <laughs> we can't. Do funny comments about the game? Do I no, like, no. Okay, so so uh, for background information... We, <laughs> we, we, we played we, this we game played before. through the entire hero <laughs> storyline, and the audio was fucked the up. The audio was fucked up. And so we have to re-record all of this. Yeah. I just said something that I said verbatim <laughs> in the first in the episode. In the first episode, at uh, like almost the exact same point. Yeah. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going <laughs> to analyze every shitty no. episode of, of Criticade. <laughs> and then I'm just <laughs> just going to... Uh, well, I'm doing marginally worse this time around, so that's great. You're doing about the same. Your mom's about the same. Um, I, that's not even <laughs> equitable. Uh, um, uh, yeah, but no, I, it's well, yeah. We, we had to redo it. It's fine. Yeah, fun. yeah. It's it's not a big deal. It's our first episode. Yeah. Like, also, it's important. Uh, the to first start few episodes off. were not funny. No, we we're not. We were not funny. Not like we're funny now. <laughs> we're, we're not funny ever. But it was like especially painful. Yeah, I mean like so, a shitty Call of Duty joke that I want to die <laughs> from. <laughs> That's true. We uh, get to reinvent the past. It's yeah. Great. Uh, I do have things that I need to bring up uh, that I did bring up on my first run through. Yes. Uh, specifically, the most is, important part of this channel. Is there some sort of tattoo? That, that you <laughs> <laughs> a tattoo, you might say. A tattoo. A tattoo. <laughs> uh, if this channel gets a million subscribers, Same. I'm gonna get a Rip Brian Griffin tattoo right across my chest. Yes. Big Do lettering. It. Do it. Uh, Robert wants to be super famous. Yeah. And it's gonna be great to ruin his life. Uh, yeah. So if you want me to die uh, in the real world, <laughs> if you want me to get mugged or something, yeah. please. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> and that's going to be the Please first do. time you hear the like, comment, and subscribe joke. And let me tell you, it's not going to be We overuse it. <laughs> oh, yeah. For sure. Uh, We're just excited to be play funny, video funny Let's Players on the internet. Uh, I'm just excited to be funny on YouTube. Hip, hot, and a little bit, a little bit not dangerous. N n you might be hot. I won't be. And Listen, take up. And <laughs> <laughs> we're definitely not dangerous. If you saw us in an alley, you'd be like, I could take these punks. And you're 12, so, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I have a mustache. <laughs> <laughs> but not like a creepy mustache, guys. A mustache. Oh, fuck. It's. Guys, it's, oh! a little, it's a little creepy. That's not even. You, you are doing worse. I yeah. I actually I blasted through this level my yeah, first time. Yeah, it was impressive, legitimately. Um, but now, I mean, I'm not gonna do better, so I'm not gonna yeah. say shit. J Jacob and I did a small test recording of us doing a battle in this game. Yeah. Uh, he's terrible at this game. Yeah, I. That I'm does actually not. Hurt not my feelings. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this game is garbage, and I make no well, apologies that, that for not. That doesn't hurt my feelings at all. <laughs> <laughs> um. I, I'm I'm not bad at this. I'm, I'm gonna be worse at this b specifically now? because I'm doing commentary. Oh yeah, well that's that's part of the whole the whole the stigma. player thing. Yeah, like, yeah. If you're playing, hey, big. Did you see big? I did see big. That's weird. Yeah, yeah. He never noticed that before. Uh, he isn't in the GameCube version that all you fucking millennials grew up with. <laughs> always staring at your goddamn phone. You're millennials. I grew up with that shit. Uh, <laughs> uh, the Dreamcast I version didn't play on the Dreamcast. That's for yeah. The Dreamcast sure. version and then the later Steam Xbox 360 PS3 versions. Yeah, they uh, all have big cameos uh, in certain levels. You'll see them like poking through. You'll see them doing stuff. They removed it in the GameCube sweet. version. Don't know why. Um, probably because Big wasn't popular, right? I mean, he's like I. I've said I like Big, but Big's I the am most important character. <laughs> I am in the minority. Uh, in Archie Sonic. Sure. 
Um, <laughs> don't. No, 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 don't. No. In, in this isn't a repeat. This is a completely it's different It's exactly thing. a repeat. I've watched the footage over and over again. In Archie Sonic, Big is just a normal guy. Oh, okay. Yeah, I told you. It wasn't a repeat. <laughs> okay, but this is the exact point where you're like, in Archie Comics, Knuckles and that guy, I can't even remember his name. It's Ken Penders, Ken and Penders. we'll get to him. I do want to bring up Ken Penders. You bring, he's really bring him up whenever. Yeah, he's really important to me. But not but now. I, that's not what I was talking about, though. <laughs> okay. Stop okay. ruining the episode by saying everything is a repeat. There. So... Uh, in in RG Sonic, <laughs> it was big. Okay, so in in, so in, in Sonic Adventure, uh, uh, big is just like like he's dumb, like he's yeah. really dumb. Well, he's dumb in the video games too. Yeah, no, 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 no. In the in the video games, I mean, he's dumb. In Sonic Adventure, he's dumb. Oh, oh, but in the but in RG Sonic, he or at least he is at first. I, I haven't okay. read too far to get more of Big's character. Right, but th- he is. Just, just absolutely normal. Like, and like the sure. first issue he appears, he's like carrying a suitcase, and he's on his way to work. And he's like, <laughs> "Come on, Froggy, I'm on my way to work." He's just wait. He's just like a fat cat that like yeah, he just, just goes a, to work. Yeah, he's just a normal dude. That's that. In that's game, actually he's a little like, off-putting. <laughs> I, I kind of want him to be that way in he's, the game. <laughs> in, in the yeah, and and everything. Just I a like normal him. ass guy. No, no, like a cartoon. Stupid cartoonishly man? stupid. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure he gets dumb over the course. Oh my God! Speaking Probably. of getting dumb over the course of Archie Sonic, I need to talk about the most horrific thing in Archie Sonic. Do they do an inflation thing? <laughs> I wish. <laughs> God, I'd that love would this. Be so much I'd love fun. to see Sonic get all puffed up by Eggman, <laughs> and then I'd like to just. Mm. <laughs> uh, Ch- Jacob, cut the footage. <laughs> uh, our editor's name is he Jacob. Gets- my co-star's name is also Jacob. They know that by now. Uh, no, they don't because this is the first episode of the show. <laughs> they know that by now because we're going to put out a, a precursor video. Oh, yeah, we are. But not <laughs> everyone's going to watch it. They're going to see, oh, Sonic. Well, I remember when I grow up with Sonic Adventure 2. Okay. Shadow makes me XD. Sure. Um, But the most horrific thing to ever happen in comic books yeah. uh, is in Sonic Heroes, they tone down the age, like, they canonically tone down the age of Charmy B uh, to be, he's like eight, and he acts like a little kid. Uh, in the original so- Knuckles Chaotix, where he first appeared in 1994, yeah, uh, he is 16 in the in the in the American manual specifically. They okay. never specify an age in the Japanese one. Sure. So in the American manual, he's he's 16. Yeah. And he acts like everyone else. Okay. In the comic, he's 16. He's he's like he's like very, they, like he has a whole arc about how he's very mature and okay. responsible. Sure. And then. When Sonic Heroes comes out, they had to they had to change <laughs> they him. Retcon it. They had to retcon him so he's <laughs> old, so he's younger. So the oh, writer man. did not simply just like like come up with like a weird reason to de-age him. Right. They just he had no no. Oh. oh. He had uh, Doctor Eggman kidnap Charmy B, torture him and give him a lobotomy, <laughs> <laughs> so that he's not. Actually, eight. He's not. He's just. He he's has a sixteen-year-old with a yeah. mental age of eight years old, Ooh. because they gave him a lobotomy. Well, yeah. If you have the brain, you have their age. Everyone knows. That. <laughs> <laughs> so it's fucking awful. Because then they play that's up his so, childishness for comic up. relief, yeah, like they do in the game. But, but it's fucked up yeah. now. It's sad. <laughs> that's <laughs> disturbing. They also age up Amy uh, through magic. <laughs> Like legitimately, like they waved a magic wand. No, no, they waved a chaos emerald in front of her. And she turned. She <laughs> oh, turned 16 oh, good. That's so much better. After Sonic CD, because she's eight in Sonic CD in the American. Oh, version, really? In the manual. Oh, wow. That's a that's a running theme of, <laughs> of the Sonic <laughs> American manuals. Changing ages. Wrong. Yeah. Yeah. So she's so they they age her up, yeah. and then later she becomes a, a love interest for Sonic, even though she's canonically like nine. Uh, pretty man. gross. That's yeah. It's uh, Archie Sonic has been running for twenty five years. I, I yeah, and you have to like. You have to feel sorry for them, right? Because the the games have no cohesion. No. In, in, in terms of story. No, no, no. So it's, I don't really blame them for doing for pulling shit like that. Yeah. Because they have to. Well, the, the thing is, there was a there was a specific writer yeah. on Archie Sonic, that just that just destroyed the continuity. Yeah. That man's name. <laughs> Ken Penderson. It's Ken Penders. Oh man. Ken uh, Penders, not Ken Penderson. I'm just a. Fan. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, Ken Penders, if you're watching this video. So, <laughs> let me go into a, a brief... Oh, shit, I just talked to... <laughs> 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 yeah, that was so good. <laughs> it was like, oh, shit! <laughs> I was the cow in fucking Twister. <laughs> uh, no, no, no! <laughs> so, Ken oh, Penders man. was a writer for Archie Sonic in the early 90s. I think he was actually the first. And so, um, 
the thing about Ken Penders was he really he did not understand Sonic. He never played a Sonic game before. He he um he didn't understand actual Sonic. Right. He his kid played Sonic and he was just a comic book writer. Oh, and so okay. That so so he he goes on the comic. He knows yeah. nothing about it, and he introduces all this weird lore to it. Yeah. And so many characters and OCs, and it all culminates <laughs> in this in the worst comic I believe has ever been written. Yeah. Ken Penders, Knuckles the Echidna. Uh, God, <laughs> that's that's a statement though. Like that's that's a, I I don't I don't believe it either. I don't believe that that's the worst comic ever written. Well, I, let like, me let me go into a little little description of a little of a little, you, little issue. And and I, I told you about just, this. Just, yeah, but I want the audience to know, I know this this specific issue. Just do a shortened version because yeah, the last one course. was really long. Of course, of course. <laughs> okay. Uh, there's an issue of Knuckles the Echidna mm-hmm. where he. Wow, I'm actually about to beat this level in like yeah. three seconds flat. Uh, there's a, nice. there's a, ah, my God. <laughs> there is a issue where Knuckles, he, he in, in our Knuckles continuity, his family gets returned to him. He like, he like does a thing and he returns the echidnas back to Echidnopolis. <laughs> he lives in Echidnopolis with his papa. You, okay. Uh, yeah. No, with his mom, actually, because his dad is long lost. Okay. And so the, they haven't seen the mom in a while. Yeah. So Knuckles goes to his, his mom's house. Sure. Uh, in this issue, and he like walks in. They're they have like a little dinner set up. Yeah. And Knuckles' mom's like, "Hey, Knuckles, I got a little something for you to meet." <laughs> and it's a it's a man. And Knuckles is like, "Mom, who's this man?" And this Knuckles' mom says, "This is your new stepdaddy, Knuckles." <laughs> <laughs> and then it's. 20 pages of Knuckles throwing a shit fit about how he doesn't <laughs> like his new stepfather, how, mo- how his parents, I mean, how his mom betrayed him. That sounds bad, but I, again, the worst comic ever. I mean, I haven't read it, so I, I don't know, but yeah. you know, that that's a that's a very big claim. I want to say. <laughs> and then there's a later issue where Knuckles talks about being friend zoned and how he's a really nice guy. Okay. And he's. Yeah. These little dread fedoras hanging down. <laughs> and so here's the best thing about Ken Penners, and I haven't told you about this. Okay. Uh, uh, since he created all these Sonic characters, quote-unquote, all, yeah. these, all these original characters for the Archie Sonic canon, yeah. when he left Archie Sonic, he took all of the characters with him. Really? Yeah. Oh, so there's just like a bunch of weird characters? Well, no, like... the thing is, they tried to use the characters again. Yeah. And Ken Penders sued. Yeah. But so like, if they ever try and use it, like, like, and so if there's they just ever, a bunch of characters that they can't use yes. now. <laughs> and if they and if they ever introduce a a um a a Kidna character, yeah, into the into the Sonic games, yeah, Ken Penders can make the game cease and desist. Really? Yes. So that's why there's like never been like expanded lore on on Knuckles' weird ass past. Yes, and that's why Knuckles <laughs> appears less often that's in great. games nowadays. That's so is, great. Is and 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 um. They introduced one new Echidna character yeah. in in the Sonic Chronicles: uh, The Dark Brotherhood for okay. the Nintendo DS. Awful game. Yeah. Sure. Well, it's a Sonic game. <laughs> yeah. So you know, Shit, boy. <laughs> and that's why Ken Penders sued. Really? Yeah. Wow. So now he writes his own his own comics. <laughs> with his own fanfic. <laughs> with, yes, he writes his own comics <laughs> with the characters he introduced in the Archie Sonic universe. Oh but he can't God. mention Sonic or Knuckles. That's his only rule. That's so, so he uses all disgusting. the same characters. He can't mention Sonic or Knuckles, and he like goes to Comic Con. So he sits he sits in the corner. Yeah. And he like he like advertises and shills his comics. <laughs> For pe- everyone to everyone to pass, and they're like, if you ever look up a, a page, it's like weird, superimposed, like hyper-realistic drawn celebrities yeah. that are clearly traced really weirdly and realistically. <laughs> Ken S- Penders is a Sonic, fucking trip. Sonic has a fucked up history. Yeah, Let's just say it. And like, it's it's awesome. I, it, I love. I would argue Sonic. that it's not. <laughs> <laughs> that I, I I hate Sonic. I I, I, I think Sonic is it. fucking hilarious. I I think it's. I, I wouldn't Sonic say Sonic was a mistake. Sonic is an absolute mistake. But I don't, I don't find it as funny as you do. Like it's, I, it's just, it's sad. To I, me. I'm in, the, I'm in a little bit of cringe comedy. Uh, uh, a little like, bit. I like, I like to make fun of a couple neck beards. I like to make fun of, I, a, I like to make fun of some bronies from time I, to time. I definitely love when. Um, Sonic characters are used for overtly religious things. <laughs> like, <laughs> I love religious yeah, Sonic. Like, like. 
Sonic was saved by the Lord. And yeah, and he's like, like praying that. and like yeah, he's like, got like a oh. sword and like a Jesus beard or some uh, shit. Have you like, ever seen the comic where where it's not even a comic? It's it's one deviant art fucking <laughs> art where it's Sonic and he's praying over like praying and yeah. there's like a cross and Jesus is standing right. next to him. And the gravestone just says 9-11 on it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> that's probably my favorite piece of art is, on the internet. That's good. Um, I, I, I don't know about favorite. Uh, I'm very excited for Sonic Forces. Uh, where I know you, you are. Can <laughs> <laughs> where you can make all of, all of your favorite oh, son, Sonic fan characters canon. I get why they did that. Yeah, it makes just, money. Yes, but it's such a... Like, they have to know that that shit is not going to end well for them. <laughs> yeah, it's it's going to be so bad. Well, and They oh. already have the reputation of having shitty OCs. Well, they're putting it on PC, which means, you know what? There's oh, going to be mods. I know. <laughs> and there's going to be Sonic nudie mods. No. And you can play as your nude Sonic characters. Oh, also, God. fun fact, in Sonic Forces... There's the legitimate reason why you can't create an echidna character. <laughs> it's because of Ken Nice. <laughs> yeah. it's really That's so funny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can't create an echidna character. Uh, great. Yeah, it all it, it all completely ties back into this weird Sonic <laughs> fact that no one knows except for Sonic fans and me. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, better distance yourself. Well, because because the thing is. I, I, I can say as you much as I want. Sonic yeah, I can say as much as I want that I'm not a Sonic fan. But, but I've read over a hundred issues yes. of Archie Sonic. Yeah. I've read several spin off comics of Archie Sonic. I I, I enjoy Sonic. <laughs> Where yeah, I, I think I have a better case for not being a Sonic fan because I've stopped playing all Sonic games yeah. and stopped reading shit. Uh, I buy every Sonic game as they come out. <laughs> I play all of them. Uh, I usually hate them. Y yeah, I know. Um, and I, like, I get that optimism. Like, I have that optimism with some games. Yeah. Um, but it's with Sonic, it's just not worth it. Yeah. They're they're almost always terrible. I I want to say we can agree to to disagree. On. Sure. Because uh, I think I think there are some straight golden Sonic I, games. I know you do. For example, Sonic Adventure Two might just be the greatest <laughs> game of all time. No, that's. Just I mean, have you played with the Chows? Straight up, no. did you have a childhood? Yeah, I played. If with you the say Chows, Sonic Adventure Two is bad, but playing with the Chows, you're is, ruining my childhood. <laughs> playing with the Chows isn't. It's not part of the game. It's it's like playing it's like playing Pokemon Breeding, but in 3D. I get well. That, well, this is more of a game than Pokemon Breeding, like meta game is. Because it's actually tied no, a lot into the game. It's it's the collectibles are tied into the game. Yes. We should stop the episode soon, by the way. <laughs> okay. Just just to let you know. All right. But like, uh, the the collectibles are tied into the game, but the main game, like the main Chow part itself, is not tied into the game at all. Yeah. Chows don't even show up, like, in the main storyline. Yeah. At least in in Sonic, Sonic Adventure One. Sonic Adventure One, they were a they part were tied of the story. into it. Yeah. True. Well, after this cutscene, I, I legitimately thought she was holding up a condom for half <laughs> a second. <laughs> Sonic, are you it's sure time to you fuck. don't need it? Well, I think if she <laughs> fucked, uh, if she fucked Shadow, she'd be a lot happier. Because Shadow seems like he'd be crazy I, in the sack. Well, well that's, you go not, that's not where I was going to go. <laughs> you never go back. No, I, 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 I'd say that if she fucked Shadow, she could get over Sonic a little bit. Well, yeah, Shadow A has daddy issues, so that's She could just close her eyes and pretend it's Sonic. Yeah, it's pretty much the same guy. Yeah. But with more daddy issues and wanting to fuck more. No, wait, no, because Sonic does canonically want to <laughs> have sex with a human being. Wait for me. Okay, next time on <laughs> <laughs> It's me. 